Hello guys, good morning. This is Professor Henderson. Thank you again for tuning into this short video. So this video is a very short video, but very precise. So today it's all about um, documentation. So I decided to create this short video about documentation. So I have created a case study and then from the case study, we are going to be extracting data from this case study to formulate our nursing um, narrative nurses notes. So I'm very excited to do this and to guide you through this process. Again, if you like these types of videos, continue to like, continue to share and continue to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I come every so often with practical applications. So today what you're going to learn from this short video is how to properly document for a patient who has a G2. Um, so those are the takeaway, formulating a case study and documenting on, um, on a patient with a G2. So let's dive into the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educational material and turn on your bell notifications. So today we have a four-year-old child with a 14 French G-tube that received a pretty short 220 ml times three, three times daily at a flow rate of 55 ml per hour. Administer all medication as scheduled through the G-tube and flush with 30 ml of water before and after. Perform daily G-tube care as ordered by MD and maintain aspiration precautions. So this is our little case study here um, so what do you think are the main um, points from this case study as a nurse? Let's say if you're working as a nurse in a nursing home or maybe a home care uh, environment. What are some of the takeaway with this case study? We know that our patient has a G-tube. We know the size of the G-tube and we know what feeding the patient is getting and at the rate the patient is getting. We also know that um, we have to flush before and after. We also know we have to perform daily G-tube care. So let's see how we can generate a narrative nurse's notes to complement our case study. Let's go. So this is how I will go about writing my nurse's notes based on that little synopsis of case study that I've just presented. This is a four-year-old female client who remains alert and responsive to tactile stimuli. G-tube in place, 14 French, intact and patent. We always want to mention that. It's intact and it's patent. We want to mention Pediasure administered to G tube 220 ml at the rate 55 milliliters per hour and tolerated. We have to mention that tolerated well. All medications were administered through the G-tube and flush with 30 ml of water before and after to maintain patency of the tube and hydration. We want to also mention that what is our main rationale for flushing the G-tube is to maintain its um, patency and also to provide hydration for patients because patients that are um, on G-tube, they are very high risk for dehydration. So we want to prevent that if our patient um, is not on a fluid restriction, they don't have certain conditions like congested heart failure or patients with ESRD um, 
end stage renal diseases those patients are normally on um, fluid restrictions so if our patient does not have um, fluid restrictions we want to um, force fluids to maintain hydration so we also have here stoma site remains clean and intact that's our physical assessments no signs and symptoms of um, of infection localized infection noted the child remains on aspiration precaution skew shift we have to mention that because patients that are on g2 um they at increased risk for aspiration so we know as nurses that when we have feeding in progress we always have to elevate the head of the bed at a 45 to 90 degree angle in order to minimize the risk of aspiration so um i hope that you take away some points from this little um short video on documentation so please consider subscribing to my youtube channel please like and share and turn on your bell notification. Thank you so much. Have a great day. See you in the next.